you can see, today's lesson, we are dealing with the slope of lines, ladies, graphing lines and writing equations of lines, all stuff that you did last year. So I expect we should be able to kind of zip through this stuff reasonably quickly. As I said, however, don't be shy about asking questions as they come up. So in algebra, you learned about slope being the ratio of vertical change to horizontal change. You may remember hearing your teacher describe it as rise over run very frequently. If I'm giving you two points, x1, y1, and x2, y2, do you remember the formula that you would use in order to calculate the slope. If you didn't have a graph like I gave you here and I asked you to calculate the slope given two points, Maddie, do you remember the formula? Um, I think it's x, x1 minus x2 over y1. Careful. That's actually a very common mistake. It's y's over x's. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And if you were kind of nodding with Maddie and thinking, oh yeah, it's x's over y's, you definitely want to make sure that you write it down so you remember it properly. It's y's over x's. In the problem one, however, you do in fact have a graph. So you could, if you felt more comfortable doing it that way, you could just count your rise and count your run and set up the ratio and reduce. So take a moment within your group and do so. Okay, let's reconvene. What is the slope for line A? Two. Yes, two. Some of you feel more comfortable writing two over one. That's fine. How about part B? What is the slope of that line? Zero. Zero. Good. Make sure that you remember which slope is zero and which slope is undefined. Zero slope is a horizontal line. Vertical slope. Vertical line has no slope or undefined slope. Questions so far? Good review. Okay. Most of you have no problem remembering the slope intercept form of an equation, y equals mx plus b. Everybody loves y equals mx plus b. What we use very frequently in this class, however, is the point slope form of an equation, which, uh, according to my first period, some of you may not have been exposed to. Does anyone here know the point slope form of an equation? Okay. Point slope form of an equation is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And now that I've given it to you, no, still, mm -mm, I never saw this before. Then you definitely want to write it down. We'll use it quite a bit in tomorrow's lesson. And even though, and I was asked this question earlier, even though if you were given the equation in this form, could you move and shake it into y equals mx plus b form and work with it from there? Yes. However, the way that your equations are going to look next year in Algebra 2, there's going to be a whole lot of y minus a value and x minus a value. I think it's in your best interest that you do, in fact, get used to the way this equation looks so that when you see that kind of equation next year in Algebra 2, it's not quite so foreign looking to you, right? Pause the video at this time to work through the your turn below. From it, you should also be able to write an equation of a line being given different things. Part A, wildly easy stuff. Part B, some of you might be seeing this as new stuff. Work together, take a moment within your groups to complete problem three, parts A and B. I was ready. Oh. Don't hit her, <laughs> especially right after I hit record again. All right, on the screen. Shh. On the screen, you see the two equations that you should have come up with. Part A, I imagine none of you had any difficulty with it. Y equals mx plus b, 
They gave you the M, they gave you the B, you just needed to put them in place. The uh, new equation that some of you have been exposed to for the first time today, the point slope form. Yes, ma'am, question. Um, why are they switched up? Why are they switched up? Okay, remember. Oh, X goes over there. X goes with the X? Oh, yeah, I yes. see it now. Any other questions on this screen? Pause a moment to work through the your turn below. Continuing. Given, an given a graph, can I come up with the equation? Now, some of you might be tempted to look at this graph and say, ooh, I can identify the y-intercept. That makes this easy. However, notice that the instructions are specifically asking for it in point-slope form. Point-slope form requires what? What do I need to know in order to plug stuff into point-slope? Yes? The slope. I need to know the slope. And, okay. and I need to have a point. Well, as uh, fate would have it, I have two points, so I, I have a couple of choices there. However, they did not give me the slope. Can I find the slope? Yeah. Absolutely. You have a slope formula. You have a graph, so you could count the rise and run. So again, take a moment within your teams, within your groups. If you have one of those two equations... Oh, yeah. Right. Then you're in good shape. I'm not in good shape. Okay, let's talk about who's not in good shape. Yes. How come the slope is negative three over two? Okay, let's clarify that. If I were to take those two points and plug them into the slope formula, and since I haven't done that yet, whole group, probably a good chance to do that. M would equal five minus negative four over negative 2 minus 4, which would give me 9 over negative 6, simplifying to negative 3 halves. So ladies and gentlemen, in every graph that we've dealt with, in every equation that we've dealt with so far in today's lesson, how many variables did you see? Two. Two. Anytime your equation, your linear equation, has both variables in it, you know there's going to be some kind of slant, diagonal, whatever word you want to think of to describe that, that kind of action going on. Whereas, when you've got a horizontal or a vertical line, there's only one variable. It's either y equals a number or x equals a number. And Caitlin sounds like she wants to tell us which one is which. Horizontal is x equals a number. That's a common misconception, that the axis tells you what kind of equation it is. Put your pencils down a second. I want you to see what I'm talking about more so than just scribbling it down. Consider in the coordinate plane this, let's talk horizontal lines first. Now, suppose this y-intercept of that line was 0, 4. I know one of the coordinates of every single point on that line. And here's my question. Which coordinate do I know? The x-coordinate of every point on that line or the y-coordinate of every point on that line? Where I am. The y-coordinate for every point on this line would be 4. And that's why this horizontal line would have the equation y equals a number. In this specific instance, it would be 4. So if you were one of those students that thought that it was x equals for horizontal and y equals for vertical, again, that's wrong. You probably want to write down what I'm indicating up here so that you remember it right. A horizontal line will have the equation y equals a number, whereas a vertical line will have the equation x equals a number. And now in that context, looking at the point 1, 7, I hope that you'd identify which number will go to which variable to come up with which equation. So my horizontal 
line will be what variable equals what number? ESA. X equals one. Horizontal line will have the equation y equals seven. You wrote it right here, Isa. You probably want to pop that down. Okay, so Isa is going to redeem himself by telling us that the vertical line has an equation of x equals one. Yes.